What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of Ethereal's heroes, which they call Myths. I did something similar on this one for the minions a while back, but I have since accrued a bit more art and renders. So uh, let's start off with one of the most anticipated classes, the Sky Slayers. Sky Slayers as a class will have the passive ability to fly. This won't be endless though, there will be some limiting factor, most likely like a stamina bar of sorts, but that's still up to Undying's balance team. The Sky Slayers are meant to be kind of a beginner class that's fairly easy to play and will function somewhat like junglers that take advantage of an aerial jungle. I was a little worried that that would mean it was necessary to have a Sky Slayer in every match, however I've been assured that there will be an item available in the shop that grants temporary flight allowing anyone access to the airborne jungle minions. First up we have Zero, the Light's Herald. His listed realm is the Citadel and he deals physical damage both ranged and melee. There was a massive amount of lore written for Zero, but it has since been removed. What we do know is that him and Iran are kind of like arc rivals. Zero will be included in the alpha. Next we have Leia, heir of the jungle. She's a ranged magical hero from Zuria, a deity of sorts that was once wingless, enslaved, and forced to fight. She has been born again with the ability to fly. Leia will be included in the alpha. Next up is the Archmage class, pretty much an ability damage based class like any mages in any MOBA. Not everything Undying does is like off the wall. While we do know that each class will have its own passive, we don't know what the Archmage passive will be yet. Let's start with Noxus, Seer of the Light. She will have the ability to manipulate and project light to both attack and defend. Noxus was chosen by the goddess Mara to prevent a disease that drains mana. Noxus will be in the alpha and we actually have some voice lines for Noxus so uh... Let's check those out right now. Your fate is sealed. Dazzling. We are nothing if not luminous. What dazzling brilliance destiny reveals. My aura shines through dimensions. Is my armor too heavy? No, it's light. Then we have Kalia, the one-tailed fox. As with Zero, there was some lore for this hero, but it has since been removed. We do know that she's from Edelus, and she will be a ranged magical hero, just, you know, she's a mage. Kalia was originally slated for the alpha, but her character model needed rework, so she was replaced by... Chief Akaika. I assume he'll be a ranged magical hero too. The lore for this guy is great, however, it hasn't been released yet. Uh, if you didn't know, I sometimes serve as a lore consultant for Undying, which is a fancy way of saying I get to read shit before you do and let them know what I think. Undying is putting a very strong emphasis on lore and world building. It's not going to be like Paragon, where Epic gave us like a few bu bullshit bullet points for each hero. And now the Berserker class. This will be a bruiser type myth, probably suited well to regular jungling. The unique passive of the Berserkers is very interesting. They'll have the ability to destroy certain elements of the environment. I'm not entirely sure what can be destroyed or, uh, you know, if it'll be outlined somehow or if it can respawn, but I'm still pretty excited by the prospect. Also, I know many of you enjoy beast type heroes and it seems like this class is where you're going to be able to find them. Our first berserker is Aron, the Harpinger of Doom. This evil looking dude seems like uh, the quintessential bad guy. I assume he'll be melee, but I'm not sure, and uh, he will be in the alpha. Next up is Grognark, the Primordial Wrath, a physical melee myth from Edelos. Looking like a beefed up pangolin, he's an ancient entity that was awoken by some greedy miners, and he will be in the alpha. The final berserker is Yara, the Roaming Fury, pretty cool looking chick with a giant hammer, I dig that. She will not be in the alpha, but hopefully will be added soon after. And now the Cleric class, these are the supports of Ethereal having the ability to shield or heal their allies. We do not know yet what their passive ability will be. Probably the cutest myth released so far, we have Nikolai, the musical first. Not much has been released about Nikolai, but we have seen some proposed skins for him already, and he will be in the alpha. Next is Dr. Grace, the Renegade. I don't know much about Grace, as she will not be in the alpha, however, she is planned for release soon after, probably alongside Yara. Finally, we have Marina. Not much known about this myth either, and this is the only artwork I have for her. Her model was based off of a betta fish, and her hair is going to be made of like flowing water. Sort of an aquatic type support. Very cool, very cool. The tank class for Ethereal will be called Knights. I'm not sure what the Knight passive will be, but I'm sure it'll be something cool. 
We have Asheron, Knight of Craxus. We can assume with a big ass sword like that that he will be melee and he will be in the alpha. Then there's Talos, the broken shield. Who needs a shield when you got a giant axe though, right? He's the only myth that we've seen true animations for. These animations are from very early on though, so things may have changed. And he will be in the alpha. Next up is the Marksman class. These are your typical ADCs. Again, I'm not sure what the passive will be for Marksman. Dante, a protector of Zuria. He's the prince of a corrupt kingdom that has decided to mete out justice by his own hand under the cover of darkness behind a mask. Very Batman-like. Dante seems to have become somewhat of the poster boy for Ethereal. People love this character. I don't know if it's the design or his backstory or what, but it's pretty cool. He is, of course, from Zuria and will be a ranged physical type hero or myth, as you will. And he will be in the alpha. Then we have Malware, very cool ADC that uses a bow made of energy. He's a sentient computer virus that has gained the ability to infect the physical world. He will be in the alpha and we have several voice lines for him. Instancing dimensional link. Enter my world. Broadband acceleration active. This world's matter is the clay I will use to forge my own universe. We are everywhere. Wipe your hard drives and find me in your thoughts. Let's put your immune system into the test. Once I'm in your system, it's only a matter of time. Rush in the system. Virus installed. You were dead the moment my optics scanned you. That brings us to the Reaper class. Reapers will be the assassins of Ethereal. Their passive is the ability to wall walk. That may not seem all that effective at first glance, but think of Lucio in Overwatch. Malaya the Remorseless, or as I like to call her, Best Girl. She has a hidden power that caused her own village to turn on her and flee with her brother who is another assassin in the game. She is a physical melee hero from Grin. Malaya will be in the alpha and she also has some skin concepts going already. Malaya's brother is Exiel, the Twin Souls, or as I like to call him, Abman Mixix Pack. He will be in the alpha, but I don't know much about him. That family got some good genes though. Now, almost forgot about Owen, the Chains of Varanor. He was originally slated for the alpha, but he was deemed too complicated to play. They want to kind of ease people into the game, so Owen was removed from the alpha. Finally, we have the Overseer class. Nothing has been revealed yet about the Overseers. This class is a complete mystery and will not be included in the alpha. Hopefully, we'll get some more info and some character designs for them when the alpha is released. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of the myths. As always, if you want to learn more about Ethereal, I'll have their social media linked in the video description. I also want to take a little time here to say thank you to both my new and old school subscribers. The last video I did for Ethereal was it has like way more views than any video I've ever done. And I'm uh, I'm just I'm really excited about this game and I really want it to be successful. I mean, ever since Paragon closed, I just I can't get into a game like I did with Paragon. I can't lose myself in a game like I used to with Paragon. Um I'm hoping that Ethereal can somehow fill that void. And I'm hoping that I'll see you guys in Ethereal. Just if you see me, you go easy on me. I'm not that good at video games. Man goose. And now the cleric class. These are the supports of Ethereal having the ability to shield or heal their out. And now the cleric class. These are the support. Uh, uh.